Hello Youtubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael, and we will be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. And we're going to start off today's video in a knuckle stage known as Pumpkin Hill, which from what I've seen is definitely people's favorite knuckle stage in this game, and we're going to see why. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Alright, so we're going to start this stage off by gliding to this section over here so we can get the power up known as the Shovel Claw, which will be very useful in this stage. I'm very sorry to interrupt the stage that is known as Pumpkin Hill, but we're going to have to go back to Wild Canyon because there's actually a power up in there that we couldn't get before, but now we can because the Shovel Claw enables us to do it. And of course we have to have that pesty Omo Child following us. But yeah, basically the gist of this section of the video is to show where where the location of this power up is. So if we're going to dig right into here, we're going to find a new power up known as Mystic Melody. and. At first it seems Mystic Melody is basically useless, but actually, trust me, later in the game it will turn out very useful. I'll explain it more in detail when we get to that, that part of my let's play, but anyways, let's jump into the portal and head right back to Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just kidding about that, the portal doesn't actually take you back to Pumpkin Hill, it just basically takes you back to the main hub of, what was the name of that stage? Wild Canyon, that's the name. So, yeah, Pumpkin Hill's pretty awesome, I mean like, the, the cool theme of like the jack-o'-lanterns in the background and the freaking rap music that plays in the background that song is actually a guilty pleasure of mine and I, I just listen to it here and there just for the for, for you know for a coolness sake I guess and this stage really gives me off a Halloween theme and Halloween's awesome by the way but because I'm 17 I don't trick-or-treat anymore I wish I do because they give you all free candy and I love candy uh, how many of you guys actually still trick or treat? Just tell me down in the comment section down below. But don't feel ashamed about it, cause maybe, just maybe, I think about doing trick or treating this year. I'm not very sure about that, cause uh, what the heck? Free candy, it's awesome. But anyways, yes, yeah, you can see here I'm consulting the advice of the monitor, and it basically helps you find the location of these emeralds. Because as you guys can already can probably already tell. This stage is absolutely gigantic compared to Wild Canyon. Those monitors can really help you, although I have to tell you one disclaimer about them. Whenever you consult their advice in order to find where the emeralds are, of course, uh, what else are you going to do with them? It actually takes off points out of your final score. Yes, that's right. The more you ask those monitors, the less chance you have getting an A rank in these stages. And I'm, I'm having a feeling where like I'm just gonna keep asking these things because I'm having an actually a really hard time detecting these things for the life of me right now so and this like I love how big these stages are I just wish the the detector what it wasn't just so hindered like it is compared to Sonic Adventure I mean I probably already told you you guys already about this but in the original Sonic Adventure you can detect basically all three of those emeralds at once in this game no you can only detect one of them at a time and that's a very big problem in this stage because basically okay the best way to explain it it's like okay let's say there was an emerald in tower one as you can see in this stage and the metal detector hasn't like the detection is not for that particular emerald so I just passed by without knowing there was an emerald there then I go to tower two I find that emerald and then when I come back to Tower 1, all of a sudden that emerald detector starts going off and I just don't like that. It's a headache to deal with and it would have been, I mean, this whole entire premise would have been kind of cool if you weren't timed, yes. When you're finding all these emeralds in these stages, you're you're timed. Well, not in the way that you would think. If you're, if you're seeking to find or to get an A rank in these stages, yes, you have to find them in a very quick amount of time. If, like me, I'm probably not, I'm not really interested in the A ranks right now. I'm just, I'm just interested in finding them as quick as I can to get this over with. I mean, that's all fine and dandy in that case, but in this game, you definitely want to get every single stage in A rank because that's how you get 180 emblems. And if you do get that, something very special will happen. But yeah, if you're one of those people that are trying to get all A ranks, this is a very big problem for you. Now, as you just saw there, I'm using the brand new Shovel Claw, um, Shovel Claw ability. Although it can be pretty, 
<clears throat> it's very picky in this level because the exact location of the emeralds when you're trying to dig is in the perfect center. Like I can definitely tell there's an emerald around here somewhere, but I it's it's not registering for some reason because I'm not dead center of where it is. As you can see in that monitor, it just told me that it's between these two trees. And that train's getting really annoying. If you want to get that sucker out of the way, just climb up here and there will be a switch to just turn the train turn its tile around. I mean I, don't get me wrong, I really like trains, but I just don't like that one, in, that particular one in this case. It's gotta be around here somewhere. And I don't know, I just, tr I tried to punch the trees, but apparently that's, that's not helping, so. Wow, that was a, that was a bad miss. Okay, let's see if I got this, I got a shield. Okay, let's see, nothing that time. Hmm, this is starting to get really annoying. Yeah, I kind of wish it wasn't so picky. I wish the emerald was out in the open, kind of like it was in the original Sonic Adventure. Oh yes, now we finally got it! Not too bad. Yeah, as you can see here, that's definitely proof of why you should not touch those monitors if you want to get an A rank. It sucks that they had to do that, but I guess that was Sonic's team's way of making those stages a lot difficult. Because, to be honest, they were easy in the original Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now let me see the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. The moon is gone? Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up! But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him! Tails? The Chaos Emeralds are like magnets. They have the power to attract each other. I can use that to find where Eggman is. Put your hands up in the air and get off okay. the ground! I'll take care of the police while you try and find a way out of here. Find Eggman! Got it! The three of you? That means me too! Hey, wait! As you just saw there, the military is after us all over again, just like at the beginning of this game. Oh well, at least it leads into one of my favorite stages in this game, which is Mission Street. This is definitely one of my favorite tail stages. Because, wow, I, it's just fun, it's just so... Okay, I, I'll cut to the chase. I love the music that plays during the background of this mission. I mean, hands down, this is my favorite song in this whole entire game. Yes, Mission Street for me has beaten City Escape, Green Forest, and Live and Learn. I'm sorry. It's I really love this song, man. It's it's my own opinion. I think those songs are awesome as well. Don't get me wrong. Don't think that I'm saying, oh no, those those songs stink or whatever. No, they're pretty awesome in their own way. It's just I like how relaxing this song is because all those other songs they just sound so epic and you know that's cool and all, but it's this song just sounds so relaxing. It sounds like the kind of music that you would go, you know, you would hear before you go to sleep and, you know, I just really like for what it is and I'm pretty sure you guys know what the premise of this whole entire stage is already. We're, we're running away from the government. 
yet they're playing this really relaxing song in the background, and that's pretty sweet. I, I mean, usually they play some kind of action me kind of packed song, but in this case, no, they... I just love what they did here, and I'm gonna keep my camp shut so that you guys can enjoy the song. Okay, what the heck just happened there? Well, that was weird. It had to glitch out, but like that, but hey, it's no problem getting back up on this ramp. But yeah, I absolutely love this song. I love it to death. Yeah, what? Uh, it, yeah, that reminds me. What is your guys' favorite song in the um, in this game? Tell me in the comment section down below. I would like to know. But anyways, let me stop rambling about this song because I think I'm pretty sure I made my point about it already. Let's talk about the actual stage that we're actually playing, Mission Street. Now, I if you guys haven't seen my Prison Lane video, go back and watch it. Actually, never mind. You guys don't have to go back and watch it. I'll tell you. I think no. I made some comments about it, about how some of these tail stages, how they have such cheap enemy placements. Now that wasn't very apparent in Prison Lane, in this in this stage, oh yes it is. That's the one thing that bugs me from liking this stage entirely. There is, it, right now it's okay, decently right now, but from the, at basically the end of this stage, and you'll see in a moment, there is so many cheap ways you can get hit by these enemies. And I'm basically afraid that I'm about to get hit by them because you don't want that. You want to keep hold on to all of your rings because that will give you a higher percent chance of getting an A rank in this stage. Alright, you can see that there's a cheap um, thing that you need to realize. You need to hitch this switch over here. Otherwise, that whole platform is going to come down onto you and crush you. Now, in this part right here, you see... Oh yeah, you see that? That robot just jumping down like that? Yeah. You want to stay to the left of this incline right here, because if you don't, well, that robot's definitely gonna hit you and make you lose your ring. So let's stay clear away from that. And then on top of that, you can see those jets trying to, like, throw those missiles at you. It's very, very annoying, but... You know, once you know the layout of this stage, it, it can't be too bad, but it's still very annoying for newcomers. You just say, oh, I just want to A-rank all these stages right away. No, trust me, you're not going to do that because Sonic Adventure 2, for me at least, is a very difficult game to master. Because it's, compared to Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, it, it was more lenient on the way the, the levels would score you. In this game, you need to do like a lot of tricks, you need to get a lot of things right in order to get an A rank. It can be very difficult doing that. For example, in these tail stages, you need to hold on to many of these enemies at once in order to get the max score you could get out of it. Which is pretty, you know, pretty tough if you don't know where the enemy placements are. What the heck? I got hit by that jet and I don't know, I, I hope that didn't dash my chance of getting an A rank. But, and also on top of that, you don't want to lose your rings. You need to complete in the fastest time possible. There's a lot of criteria in this game in order to get an A rank. And this game can get pretty difficult in doing that if you want to pursue that. If not, the experience is okay. It's not very difficult. But once you take on that challenge, oh my goodness, this game gets really hard. I mean, possibly this could be one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. And I'm not exaggerating. And I consider myself to be a good Sonic player, but this game... Hmm, it's very difficult for me, and, well, at least it's not difficult as Contra Hardcore for the Gen Genesis. That was a very difficult game. And did you see how the camera would pan up? What the heck, I got hit by that robot. But anyways, did you see how at the end of this stage that, how the camera would pan up like that? If you're not careful, those bridge pieces would collapse onto you, making you lose your rings. And obviously, that's fantastic in this game, right? No, 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 it's not. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. We were so close to getting an A rank, but hey, a B is not a big deal. That's that's alright. And we got an emblem anyway for our efforts.